Newcastle Fans TV. Ooh, channel update for you, everyone. How you doing? All right, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. We haven't done one of these for quite a while, haven't we? So this is just a few changes that we are going to be implementing towards the end of the season. Not everything is set in stone, so don't take it as gospel, but here we go. So if you do want to have your say on what, how you'd like the channel to be run, please drop a few ideas in the comments down there below. We'd love to hear some of your suggestions. But let's crack on. Um, some of the changes have already taken effect, what we'll be doing across the whole of the the brand, if you want to call it that. Uh, NFTV Extra on Twitter is no more. We've actually rebranded that. And we've made that into NFTV Podcast, the handle. So get yourselves over there and follow it. Uh, we've made this decision to um, switch all of the under-18s, under-23s. And the women's news on the main Twitter handle. And what I've done with um, NFTV Podcast is put Greenwood and Mullen show onto there so the lads can promote it. In particular, Sam can promote the clips and upcoming shows and guests and what have you. So that's the reason behind thinking of that. Um, and also with... Um, our website uh, which is newcastlefanstv.com we have no adverts placed on that website at all uh, we have to pay for it ourselves out of the money that we make so if you want to write for us that'd be absolutely wonderful to have you on board so you can write anything you like about newcastle uh, whether it's about uh, a match or a player or transfer rumor or whatever it is get in touch with us um, you can contact us at info at newcastlefanstv.com is our email address so please uh, get in touch with us uh, our facebook page has done wonderful uh, it's just gone over 70,000 followers, which is just incredible. Over 70,000, which is madness. It's absolutely crackers. Um, but we're going to see some changes towards with Facebook towards the end of the season. We've got a few ideas. You might even see a couple of personnel changes. Um, not that we want anybody to leave, but we might move it around a bit as well, just to freshen up a little bit. And that probably goes the same with um, YouTube as well. Ideally, we are... I would, I would personally like another person to come in on YouTube who's probably more local to who someone who goes to the games and wants to get themselves with a camera and speak about Newcastle United because that's what we all love doing. We love talking about the tune. So that would be great if we have someone um who's keen on that. If you want to again have a look at into, into that, again contact us info at newcastlefanstv.com. Um but yeah, if you can edit a video you'll get a head start on everybody else. But we're going to be putting that across um the job sheets across um Facebook jobs and what have you um shortly as well. But as I said, there'll be a, maybe a couple of changes with a YouTube team, a Facebook team as well. We, we, we do it every season. We just review it, make sure that the lads are all happy with, with, with the current roles. If they want to move, they want to change, if they want to um, have any ideas themselves, implement them themselves. We do it every year. It's important that review that everyone's happy and everybody's contributing to NFTV. So it will help it, it would, um, help it grow even further to what it already is. So... Um, with videos, we're thinking of scrapping the watch along. It's not set in stone yet. Steve does an unbelievable job, but bless him, it's it's predominantly Steve a lot on his own, um, which is coming a more and more common theme. And what we're thinking of doing is going back to when it was in lockdown, where straight after the game we'd have an online match reaction, scoring the play, scoring the players. I've got the hiccups, and um, also the fan reaction, but splitting them up into three videos. Um, we still do that. Um, we just have it all in one, so people are finding it a lot more harder to, oh, you don't do scoring the players. But we do, we do it every single game. It's just part of a longer video, that's all. Sometimes we do it at the ground, if it's home ground, but the problem that it is, is my workload on a match day is massive because I'm having to set up the watch long, and then I'm at the game, I could be in a away game, I've got to edit whilst I'm travelling, sometimes on the way home. So, yeah, um, I feel like... Um, it's lagging a little bit the watch long it needs a, a fresh input a fresh input and maybe maybe we might switch it to um the second channel um or we'll, we might just scrap it completely it's not set in stone but that's the idea i think it's lost a little bit of a, of its mojo at the moment um we've been very successful getting famous face fa famous faces on which is the credible work that um johnny and sam do getting all these famous guests on from ex-footballers to people in the media, TV, radio, you name it. And there's possibly we might bring them in to start bringing them into post-match videos as well, something I'm keen on doing. And, you know, all of, of all the guests that we've had on NFTV, of all of them, which is, is the list is on my website, it's incredible the amount of people that we've got. We can make up two football teams, which is class. And we never paid for one guest. That was it, just one guest. Comment below who you think that is. Go on, comment below. We've only paid for one guest, and that's because of the reputation that we've built amongst NFTV the last few years to become a little more, um, I wouldn't say serious, but try and make your content a lot more professional for the viewers who will enjoy it and try and take them with you. So yeah, um, we're going to look at that as well. And we do it for free. 
we don't charge for our videos. Yes, you get the, the adverts, which, you, which you've got to put up with any YouTube video, but even with podcasts is free. We don't charge. We don't say why you should be charged to listen to a podcast. I think that's daft, but we don't we do not do that. So you get it for free, and the lads put a lot of effort and graft into it. Um, so it's great to see Johnny and Sam's podcast doing well as well. So great. And um, we're going to look at maybe bringing some you know, little tweaks to that and put some music into there perhaps as well. But, you know, we're going to get together, uh, us and the rest of the lads, and we're going to go through... Um, if you, some of the few things that are working well that we want to keep some change that we we'll want to make as well it's great that we're in every game but me being the way I am demanding I, dem I want more from the lads I want to see more effort put in um, predominantly on the channel you might see my face a lot first Johnny and Sam second and then there's a big bit of a gap between the rest of the lads we want, we want to try and bridge that gap in because but that's probably why I'm looking at maybe another YouTube presenter who's a lot more um, local who can fill that void, I guess. We're now the summer is going to be full of transfer rumours, which I hate personally. I can't stand it. You know, every single channel will do it, including our channel. We will as well, but it's not a video I enjoy because it's based on a lie. I hate those types of videos. We don't do clickbaits either. We try not to because we, our watch time is so precious that we don't want with video being watched for 10 seconds and someone clicks off it because they realise it's a clickbait. There's, there's some of it that happens amongst YouTube. We try not to. Our watch time is very long and we like that and we want to keep it that way. Uh, but, you know, the summer is going to be an interesting one because there's no tournament football. So away from, you know, the transfer room videos, we're going to be working with um, the foundation a lot more, especially with the mental health. I feel we need to do a little bit more. I think it's since we won the award, in December, we haven't done too much yet, but I'd like to bring that back a little bit more. Um, NUFC Women Access, we've got a great relationship with the women's side. We've had interviews with Becky, uh, we've had Casey Elson, we've had Brooke Cochran, Katie Barker, Georgia Gibson. There's probably someone I've missed off that Sam's not going to be happy about, but anyhow. But obviously we want more charity events. We've done the quiz last year. We want to bring something else over this summer as well. Um, it's, it, it's difficult with the club because it's still hard for the media side of things to allow us in to, you know, have a chat with a player, get them on video and, you know, I know it's time consuming, but we have managed to get around it the long way because we've had Matt Ritchie on the past, we've had Martin Dubravka on in the past as well. So there is ways around it and we want to mix up videos, not just um, at the ground. I think we also need to bring back a lot more live videos. Um, I feel we've lost a little bit of connection uh, with you, like the audience, a little bit. Um, don't get me wrong, I think it still is there, but I think having a few more live videos, in particular things like the black and white show, which is very different, we're the only ones who allow WhatsApp messages to come through and display and stuff like that. Um, so we we'll definitely look at that. I don't think a green screen is a great look on our channel. Um, I know other people do it across the whole of YouTube. It's not some of that we want to be associated with, that we've got a green screen and we're not at games. It's not some of that we want. We want to be known as being at games, but also I feel like bringing live videos back is is a thing that needs to happen a lot more, at least once or twice a week, and not just me doing it, the, the lads doing it as well. So, yeah, um, more interaction, like I say, the black and white show, a lot of that type over the summer. Doing it, doing some research on, like, the videos that you guys um, like, is, like, The Last Word, that's a big popular one. The Away Vlogs is quite popular. Um, the podcast is popular, we know that as well. So that's the type of show that we're um, picking up, and obviously things like the Nobby Solano and Stephen Taylor videos were very, very popular, so... Uh, there's been a few blinders in there, interactive shows, again, we'll try and bring more of them as a touch upon as well. Uh, NFTV Extra, um, as you may have seen already, has had a couple of changes on the second channel. A lot of people forget that we've got a second channel, but we do, we, we run two channels, it's not one, we're running two here. So, you might have seen NFTV Extra has had Formula 1 recently, uh, it's had clipped up clips, which I'm doing from the main channel, from highlights getting put on there. All of the women, all of the 23 stuff is now on the main channel. All of the podcasts that Johnny and Sam do are all on the main channel. Unless they don't feel it's a, it's a fantastic show, they'll put it on the extra one. So there's a few changes made to NFTV Extra as well. Um, and also we've got like, you know, it's great that, that sponsors want to work with her, which is really good. Because we don't actually go and chase sponsors, believe it or not. Some people might not believe that, but the likes of One Football reached out to us, so our current sponsors, Profit Accumulator. Boohoo man. So all of these guys have reached out and wanted to work with us and they have previous ones in the past and we've got to say no because of the demand is just ridiculous at the minute. We've seemed to be, and it's getting, we've got a lot to try and get through and able to please everybody. 
and it's great that they want to work with us and I think that's come down to how the lads conduct, conduct themselves on video but also again try to build that reputation that NFTV has got now where you know you've got ex-footballers happy to come on whenever they want you've got a new guest every week you've got longer in-depth videos like the last word and that he's enjoying as well so it's great that they want to you know come out and reach out and that money gets put aside so it's fantastic so like the camera i'm speaking on for example cost 1500 quid these mics don't come cheap you know these two mics are like 250 quid for two of these and there's stuff that we want to do and put put on with logos on the mics and stuff so there's a few stuff around uh, there's probably some stuff i've missed off to be honest with you before we'll do a channel update where we where we're at um this type of video the members get um and this is something that we've got the membership which is the join button underneath the membership get a video off me personally how the channel is doing each month as well so it's something that you if you guys want to support the channel um click the join button you'll get exclusive videos from myself from johnny and sam i would like the rest of the lads to chip in but it's predominantly from us three but yeah that's just a, a bit of a channel update for you um what we're planning over the summer people go quiet news tends to die down not Newcastle fans TV history tells you the last six seven years would be non-stop over the summer but yeah um hope you enjoy that um update for you and I forgot where I was for a second tell everyone smash that like bye bye